In 2020, 100% of cyber attacks that took down operations were targeted ransomware. The thing about these target attacks is that they succeed against industrial sites that consider themselves well defended. The target attacks work in spite of the firewalls and the security updates and the other conventional protections at the manufacturing sites. A big part of the problem here is complexity. Modern manufacturing is efficient and efficient facilities are heavily automated featuring highly connected and complex networks. Manufacturing operations generally involve a lot of different silos. One silo is the shop floor, which generally includes a conveyor belt or a belt of cranes controlled by an industrial control system. That control system itself takes high-level direction from a manufacturing execution system or from IT systems and more recently from cloud-connected systems. This is a problem. Internet-connected networks are much more exposed to targeted attacks than manufacturing control networks ought to be. When internet, business, and manufacturing systems blur together, the weakest link prevails. The result is that manufacturing systems are not properly protected against ransomware. Let's take a closer look at how a typical targeted attack follows the cyber kill chain. Step 1. The attacker reaches a target organization using open source information, like press releases, the corporate website, conference presentations, and social media. Step two, the attacker then crafts spear phishing emails with malicious attachments or emails that trick the receivers into downloading a bit of malware. Step three, that malware or attachment is a remote access Trojan or a rat. The rat connects out to a command and control center on the internet where in step four, the attacker then operates the rat remotely, gathering intel about the company network and stealing more credentials, like passwords, password hashes, or tickets that Windows systems use under the hood. Now in step five, the attacker uses the intel and stolen credentials to reach through firewalls into protected factory and automation systems or other networks. In step six, the attacker plants the rat in a target in those networks and repeats. Once the attackers have reached a sufficiently valuable target, they instruct their rat to download the ransomware module and encrypt everything it can access. These targeted attacks routinely pass through firewalls. What is worse is that in a lot of industrial sites, the firewalls that are deployed to protect the OT perimeter and the IT OT interface, these firewalls are porous. Modern plants have a lot of demands for connectivity. For example, the manufacturing execution system needs to integrate with the enterprise resource planning system. Remote connect tractors may require remote access into the OT network. Everybody today wants access to live industrial data. That includes cloud systems. All of these end up being connections through the IT OT firewall, and every one of these connections can and will carry attacks such as ransomware. Secure manufacturers are addressing these problems in the following ways. Firstly, secure manufacturers separate business critical from production critical systems. Secondly, they inventory and map out production critical systems and their communications. Third, secure sites prioritize production systems by their level of criticality. Fourth, these sites segment their networks using defense in-depth strategy with layers of networks and firewalls. And that strategy includes a layer of unidirectional security gateways at the ITOT interface. Proper segmentation is key. Correctly defining systems as reliability critical will go a long way to deter ransomware. Manufacturing sites should prioritize the defenses of these reliability critical networks. Unidirectional gateways not only prevent rats from being installed, but even prevent insider rats from being effective. When rat malware gets into the factory floor, for that rat to be effective, it has to connect out to the command and control center. And there has to be a way for the attacker who uses the control center to send commands through the internet, down that connection, and back into the rat. None of this works with a unidirectional gateway as the OT-IT interface. With a unidirectional gateway in place, the rat cannot reach the internet. Stolen credentials cannot be transmitted into industrial networks through the gateway. 
and no commands from an attacker's command and control center can reach through the gateway into the industrial network. So these are the good news. Given a correct OT, IT segmentation, a defense in-depth strategy with a layer of universal gateways as the OT, IT interface, increases the reliability of operations by defeating all targeted ransomware attacks, no matter how sophisticated the malware and no matter how capable the criminal group. To learn more about new defenses for targeted ransomware in manufacturing, download Dr. Molina's new ebook by clicking the link in the description of this video.